How's it going, ladies and gents? It's your for the neighborhood Aussie, Squidgy TV, and we're back with more NBA 2K14. This is the next episode of the Dallas Mavericks My GM Mode, and the people have spoken. Carmelo Anthony will be coming to Dallas, as you guys did tell me, man. I believe we got like 145 comments. That's when I went back and checked just a few minutes ago. That is unbelievable. That was seriously awesome. I was like, can I say thank you for all those comments? That was seriously amazing. As you just saw, we did sign Carmelo, so he is now a member of the Dallas Mavericks. And a big flaw for us was at the center position. I had a quick look at Jordan Hill. He doesn't really fit the bill for us, really. And same with Pau Gasol. I mean, playing Pau with Dirk, there's basically got to be no defense played, not much rebounding. So let's have a look at here. A Mecca Okafor. I was sort of looking for maybe someone like that who can kind of play the role of Tyson Chandler, the way he did in the 2011 finals, because he played so well with Dirk. They were like yin and yang. But have a look at there, man. I'm going to not sign Pau Gasol. And we're actually going to sign a Mecca Okafor. So he's now going to join the team. As you can see, look at this team, people. Carmelo, Monte, Dirk, Jose Calderon, Vince Carter, Wayne Ellington, Emeka Okafor at center. That's actually going to be a really, really good squad. I feel like this team does have a chance to contend for sure. And, of course, one of the top seeds in the West. But before we go into that, let's have a look at the training camps. And I'm going to send Carmelo Anthony to combo guard. It basically ups everything to do with passing, ball handling, offhand dribbling, all that sort of stuff. So it's really going to help him bring the ball up the court, all those sort of things. As you can see, Mark Cuban, man, he wants us to get rid of Vince Carter. He believes in Gary Harris. And I don't blame him, man, because Gary Harris is going to be a really, really good player for us. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that at the trade deadline. I'm going to hold on to Vince Carter as long as I can. So basically, let's go ahead and let's jump into this. Now, having a look at some trades, I kind of went to Tyson Chandler because I really, really wanted to reunite him with Dirk. But honestly, there was no trades that I really, really was you know keen to pull. I mean, there was a few for Al Horford that weren't too bad, but they always gave up. Like, every single trade wanted to give up Gary Harris and no man because he's going to be a beast. And as you see, this one, Nerlens Noel for Monte Ellis. And Monte Ellis is kind of one of those guys that I'm not sure if he wants to stick around. I mean, he's a massive shot taker. I mean, him and Carmelo on the same team, not even to mention Dirk. And I did get a comment for someone saying target Dennis Schroeder. And there was a few nice trades there, nothing really crazy. But this one right here, Lance Stevenson for Monte Ellis. That one really, really stood out to me because Lance Stevenson is a beast. But guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this one for Wayne Ellington. Another player that we just really didn't need on the roster, picking up a excellent championship player in Andre Kirilenko. AQ47, you know he plays defense. He does everything on a team that basically a contender would need. As you see, Carmelo Anthony's getting all happy as why would the dump and press ask us if we're going to trade him? We are never trading Carmelo Anthony as long as he's on this team. But guys, what I want to know from you guys is whether we should target a point guard because right now, Jose Calderon's a really, really good player but not really that championship point guard that I think we need. And, I mean, if we can get rid of maybe Monte Ellis for a really, really good star point guard, that would be totally up to you guys, but that does sound pretty good to me. So let me know in the comments below if we should target a point guard, and if so, which one? Would it be, I don't know, like Rajon Rondo? Can you imagine Rondo with Melo and Dirk? That would be seriously awesome. Even someone like Damien Lillard or even Mike Conley, someone who can really just change the pace of a game. Honestly, someone like that who could maybe be in a trade with Monte Ellis, that would be really, really awesome. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I seriously, seriously do appreciate all the comments you guys put on the last video. It really does mean a lot. And plus, I'm really sorry I've been really sick. That's probably why my voice sounds like a dump right now. But yeah, I've been trying to fight through that. That's why I haven't uploaded for the past three or four days. But guys, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. It's good to out. Cheers.